Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kato Kids Podcast. I honestly forgot what episode we are on, but today I am here with Jaime. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? Mason. What's up? And joining us right now is Vaden. Yes, and Miliano will not be joining us. He is planning something for our grandfather. And I'm, uh, and today, guys, Jaime wanted to lead the first topic. So, Jaime, go ahead. Um, okay. First topic is basketball. What about basketball? So, for the NBA draft 2021, uh, People are saying that, or not people, uh, Russell Westbrook might get traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, and uh, Kyle Kuzma, Montres Harrell, and uh, Contavious Carlo Pope will all to get traded to the Wizards. By the time this is uploaded, probably in the next day or two, then it probably already happened. We never know. Mm, we never know. Mason, what are your thoughts on um, the Lakers getting rest book? The, what are my thoughts on the Lakers getting Westbrook? Oh, I think it's a good trade. I think it's a good trade because uh, the Lakers uh, need Westbrook after the uh, the first round of the 2021 NBA playoffs. So, uh, yeah. Aiden, what are your thoughts on the on this trade that might have already happened or might still be in progress? It's not going to happen because, um, first of all, the Lakers don't need Westbrook, and I don't think Westbrook would want to come to the Lakers. But I already know Dame Lillard is coming to the is coming to the Warriors. Ron, he said he he said he wants to play for the Warriors, and then and they're already. Oh, my thoughts on this. Uh, the trade, I really don't care. I don't follow basketball that much. Uh, I know Westbrook is good. If the Lakers get him, that'll be a game changer. The if, Lakers, if only if they want to win the the finals this year, not next couple of years, because they're trading away young talent mm-hmm. and a first round pick. So. Um, so I guess they just want to win the NBA Finals next year instead of, uh, you know, build for a couple years and then be a dominant team. But, you know, it's their decision. I think the Warriors are going to win it. Maybe, you know, if, call- if you don't get any fucking injuries like last time. Well, we got – well, we're all healthy now, so. We really got Thompson back as well. Yeah. Any other thoughts on this topic before we move on? Um, oh, yeah. Um, congratulations to uh, Giannis and the Bucks winning the NBA Finals 2021 against the Phoenix Suns. Correct. Mason, anything else to add to this? Nope. Uh, no, I think that's it. All right, well, and gentlemen, that, that was your cool. sports yeah. on for today. Uh, Mason, what do you? What, uh, I'm gonna leave the next topic, and it's gonna be in the next couple of weeks. We'll be uploading our trip to Reno. We are going next Friday, but I don't know what the Wi-Fi situation was gonna be like in Disneyland. Everything was uploaded a week after everything happened because we had to come back home to upload it because the Wi-Fi at the hotel was very crappy. Um, but let's have a little interview here. Let's start with Mason. Mason, what are going to be your favorite parts of going to Reno? Uh, probably going to the going to the arcade, playing arcade some game. Uh, arcade games. Going to have some a couple of uh, uh, arcade video there. Uh, Jaime. Uh, going to the arcade, going to Kings Beach, uh, watching uh, television, hanging out with other uh, with. All five of us, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. And hang out with Ron. That's true. Vaden, what are your thoughts of going to Reno? Um, 
I want to go to Reno so I could go to the arcade, go fishing at Lake Tahoe, and take a nice dump in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to going to Kings Beach. And for the first time, you guys will see the GoPro go underwater. We're going to be going swimming over there. Um, we're going to go to, we're going to be staying at, I think, Silver Legacy Hotel. Yeah, we are, but you're not because you're going to Rhino and Rocky. True. But yeah, so. So is he. Mm-mm. No, he's not. So yeah, that's going to be the deal on Reno. We're going for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, leave Monday. So a good. Uh, two and a half Good days. Trip. Whole days there, I uh, guess. Um, so actually, I think three. So yeah. Um, and then on the way back on Monday, I don't know if we're doing it or not, but there's a place, Boomtown, whatever the hell it's called. Uh huh. I'll be going there because we do there. A little we'll go there. A little, That's what we always Reno, do. Reno, Reno is a, it's a small, small town, but like, damn, it's pretty fun. It's yeah, very underrated and like stuff. Yeah, like, it says like it says like the little the littlest biggest town, or the biggest littlest town. Though. It's the um, it's the biggest, littlest city. Yeah, biggest little yeah. smallest. Uh, whatever the hell it's called. It's it's right. You guys can see it. It's right there on the screen. But um, yeah, yeah, and that that anything any other thoughts about Reno? No. Mason. Nope. Baden? Um, yes. Hey, what is it? Oh, shit. Um, uh, what I would also like to do in Reno is uh, go to this spot that my aunt showed us, and uh, she said it's like a cliff, cliff diving place that we can go. Mm-hmm. And uh, we could do that on the way to Lake Tahoe, or... On the on the first day we're there, we could just go to that place. She said it was close. Huh? Oh, and I'm I'm uh, I'm doing a fishing video. Yeah. We go fishing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yo, let's talk about video games, dog. Yeah. So, well, first, before he speaks, because whoever gets to say the topic has to go last. Um. We'll start off with uh, Jaime. Jaime, what is your favorite video game that you have ever played in your life? And why? And why? Favorite, favorite uh, video game? Mm, honestly, no, not honestly. I have to say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I mean, it could be any series, too. You could just say, like, all the Call of Duty games. Or all the Call of Duty games. Honestly, or not honestly. All right. I just like them. And why? Why? Um, because it reminded me of old times me playing them. Um, or what else? The guns, the weapons, the camos, um, the skins, and um, what else? Oh, I finished all the that's games. it, and that's oh, it. Mostly, mostly the scar and the uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. What about the uh, MK18 with the 732, uh, 732 barrel and the uh, holographic scope? Holographic scope. I mean, I don't use scopes. All right, Mason. What is I mean, your I do, I, Mason? What is your favorite video game? MLB the Show. And wait, and it'll be the show what? Or is it the every, every single game? It'll be the show 20. And why? Because you get hit, get hit big fat bombs. And so me why, coming why do you, why do you, why do you like the game? Back, I, I like the game because you get a hit home run. So. Oh, that's not a, that's not a and, reason. And why do you I like playing back. the game? Because you never hit home run. I've never seen you hit a home run once in that game. So why do you like playing the game? Because it's fun. And I like baseball. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and I like coming back from 12 to 5. Okay. My favorite video game to play right now is probably I'll be the show, 20. Because, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's not the best game in the world, but 
you know, there's nothing else to play right now. And probably Warzone's a good game right now, too. Then, yeah. Yeah, Red let's, Dead Redemption. Let's, let's go with Baden. And uh, he's going to talk about his favorite game and why. It could be any game. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite game is... um. Is um currently the I will be the show series because I play baseball, so I could actually learn a little bit about the game. Uh, I've been playing it, and it kind of uh, sometimes it can make you a better player in certain situations. And uh, you create your own character, and you can feel like what it's actually like to play in the MLB with uh, the players you grew up watching or the players you are watching right now currently. And uh, I just like to hit fucking big daddy nukes. My dingling, bingling. Uh-huh. Hey guys, I may would call this a mukabang. A mukabang, guys, let's do mukabang. All right, anything else on the games related topic? Anybody else want to talk about any of their favorite games? No, no, I'm not playing this game. Baden has something, so it's called Baden. God, you guys need to watch UFC. I mean, need to play UFC four. Dude, that stuff is that stuff is freaking amazing. You get to knock people out. You can knock out your the fighters you hit the most. I've knocked out Colby Covington three hundred times in that game because he's such a bitch, and I've knocked out Jaime Quevedo four hundred times in that game because he's such a. You yeah, suck, yes. I knocked you out. I, 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 I thought you guys. I thought you got. I thought you guys were supposed to uh, show your face. So we're going to go ahead and go on to a, another topic since all of our topics have been done. We're going to talk about um, recently me and Miliano saw a movie called Spiral. Uh, it's very, very good. It's very, very good. It's a, it's a jigsaw movie. It's uh, Chris Rock's in it, Samuel L. Jackson. It was very good. Recommended. Very gory. I love that. It was very gory. And yeah, I recommend that. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to give a big shout out here to the Collision Center. Yeah, yeah. The Collision Center is uh, right here. You can see it. Body, frame, and paint owned by Emiliano Quevedo Sr., a.k.a. Lano, which is our grandfather. Uh, If you have any car troubles, where you at, bro? Um, there's his information in the bottom left. You can see all of it right there. There is all of his contact information down below the address, website, email, and number. Um, if you guys want to be, if you live in the uh, San Jose Santa Clara area and need a place to get some cars fixed, there's your place to go. Um, what I like about his, uh, shop is, uh, it's really cool. I mean, I don't know. I didn't even go inside it, but it looks pretty cool. I like the card. It's pretty cool. All right. Thank you guys for joining this week's episode of the Quevedo Kids podcast. With, uh, signing off for now is Mason, Vaden, Jaime, and me, Dev. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.